Welcome to the all-new Sports Visions on Bounce TV and to our worldwide web viewers on www.sportsvisionsusa.com. Hello, everybody. I'm DJ Jones alongside my good partner, Ed Friend, Dale Williams. How are you, sir? What's up, player? Man, it's the NFC Championship time, and we're in the Dome. We're in the Dome, player. You know, really, last time the Dome was going to be here, and I'm glad to be here to see this last game. And coming up in just a little bit, we have an opportunity to recap the Green Bay Packers and the Atlanta Falcons. We'll also have an opportunity to do the AFC recap which will be, of course, the Pittsburgh Steelers and the New England Patriots. All that and more coming up next on Sports Visions. It's time to save during the Nissan Year of the Truck and SUV event at Headquarter Nissan. Now, save $4,500 on new Rogue. Save $10,000 on all remaining 2016 Nissan Titan XDs. And get America's best truck warranty. Take on any job with Nissan trucks and SUVs from Headquarter Nissan. Yes, Columbus is a Nissan town. Now it's going to be a Titan town. $10,000 off 2016 Titan. Welcome back to Sports Visions, Dale. I tell you, you know what? The Georgia Dome has uh, some significant uh, interest to us because we've been in the business 12 years and had the opportunity of having press credentials for not only the Falcons games, but you know the Chick-fil-A Kickoff Classic and some of the other ball games that have been held in this building. But for the very last time, we're here to witness this game. I mean, really, DJ, you know, as we were saying on the way up here, you know, about what are our fondest memories of, the, of being in the Dome and this being the last game ever to be played in the Georgia Dome. And I, go, I can go back to the, the Michael Vick days because there was no place like the Georgia Dome when Michael Vick came out of the tunnel when he came around. And then, you know, you got fondest memories of, of the, the, uh, West, the West Virginia, Georgia uh, Peach Bowl game. Great memories of that game. Actually, that was the Sugar Bowl game the, that, actually, in 205. Exactly. And then the, the spike, I call it the spike bowl, when Air Murray and Georgia played Alabama, and, and Georgia had an opportunity to upset Alabama. Those games and a whole lot more, man, those, those are great memories for me. Absolutely. And we've had our share of SEC championship games in this building, of course, since they moved to Atlanta. And uh, just, uh, just uh, some fun memories are going to go down the drain when they decide to dispose of this building. But you know what? They don't have to apologize because the building next door, the Mercedes-Benz Stadium, is beautiful. Oh, man, it's beautiful, DJ. And as, as you see it uh, just looming on the horizon, you just can't wait until next year to see how it actually looks because, really, it's up, DJ. And really, to see all those visions, uh, um, Arthur Blanks and his people and the corporate community back in this whole uh, project, it looks big, man. You know, anytime you write something down in pencil and you just see it come alive, that, that's a great thing to do. But at the same time, DJ, it's going to be an interesting place. And really, the Georgia Dome has been very good to us. Absolutely. And again, I tell you, you know, we, what more can you say about the incredible season that the Falcons have had to extend the season and to give the fans of Atlanta an opportunity to cherish this building one last time? Well, you know, DJ, you just said a mouthful of that. Really, that's to show the fans how much they appreciate to extend the whole play of being in here, playing through the playoff, and this being a great year for the Atlanta Falcons and then celebrating it here at the Georgia Dome. That's big, player. All right, coming up in just a little bit, don't go anywhere. We got a former Falcon and a hometown hero, Randy Fuller. He's going to share his memories because he was a part of the 98 Super Bowl here with the Dirty Birds. We'll be right back. I'm back, swimming at the gym every week. Last month, I started playing tennis again. And four months ago, I went hiking for the first time. I struggled with knee pain for years. Just walking upstairs was difficult, but the St. Francis Orthopedic Institute was there from surgery through physical therapy, helping me get back to doing the things I love. Thanks, St. Francis. I'm back in motion again. Welcome back to Sports Visions. I'm pleased to have with me one of the finest out of Columbus, of course, Randy Fuller. You know him from Spencer High School. You know him from Tennessee State. You know him from the Pittsburgh Steelers. And more importantly, you know him from that Super Bowl team 
with the Atlanta Falcons at 98. Welcome to Sports Vision. Oh, thank you, DJ, for having me. I'm so glad that I bumped into Sports Vision here today, and I, I'm just excited about what the Dirty Birds can do today. Man, you know what? We were talking about the sentimental value of this building and it being the last game, but you were on a team that went to the Super Bowl. Talk to me a little bit about what this last game means to you in this building. Well, the last time I was in the Georgia Dome was the last time that I played to win the game to go to the NFC Championship game. So being here on the field, knowing that this is the last time they will play in this building, it's special memories for me and my teammates. Of course, that team went on to the Super Bowl. So for this team to have a chance to go to the Super Bowl in the last game played in Georgia Dome is very special. Randy, for those Millennium kids out there who might not remember you, let's go ahead and back up. Bring them from Carver High, oh, excuse me, Columbus High School. I mean, uh, Spencer, Spencer High School. Man, I said every school That's but okay. the Green Wings. They're going to get we're, me for that. We're one family. But bring us on up to speed. Just some highlights so that so those young Millennium kids out there who might not know you. Yeah, coming out of Columbus, Georgia, I mean, I had a great, excellent opportunity to go to a great university. I went to Tennessee State University played cornerback there, got my degree in criminal justice. Then I got drafted to the Denver Broncos in 1994. I played a year in Denver, then I went to Pittsburgh, 1995, six and seven. I played with them in the Super Bowl, where we um, played the Cowboys in Super Bowl 30. And then uh, I would go to the Falcons following that. That was 98, also played in the Super Bowl. And then I ended my career in, with the Seattle Seahawks, where we went to the playoff. So believe it or not, five out of six years, I was in the playoffs and played in two Super Bowls. So you know how special this moment is, man. I tell you what, though, you talk about pitching yourself. You know, I thought I was fortunate to have an opportunity to play in the National Football League, but you've been on not only in the National Football League, but you've been on playoff teams and Super Bowl teams. Well, hey, I tell everybody, I know playoff football. So, I mean, this is my time of year. I love being around it, championship atmosphere here in Atlanta. So happy that all the fans are coming out, having a great time. So. It's going to be an exciting game, and we're hoping that the Dirty Birds come out on top. Last but not least, tell everybody what's going on with you now. Um, I currently live in Houston, Texas. I work for a great residential treatment facility in Chicago. The name is Timberline Knowles. So if any lady, women, or adolescent girls need any kind of treatment, that's what we're here for. Now, you live in Houston, man, so um, we're thinking about coming out. Do I need to get a hotel? <laughs> hey, I just have, I have a long list of people who've been calling me for the past, ever since I moved to Houston. They're like, you know the Super Bowl's coming to Houston, so uh, just give me a call. We'll see. Let's, <laughs> let's get the Falcons there first. All right, all right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Columbus's own Randy Fuller. We'll be right back all right. after this. Hey, Steve, check out this guy's leg. Yeah, looks like a real nasty moving back in with his parents. What? No, I just broke my leg. No, this is a full-blown move into the basement. You're going to be out of work. Without that money from Aflac. You might miss your rent. Oh, I just moved out. Bummer, man. Hey, I used to have my own place. Yeah? <laughs> nah, I live with my mom. But it's cool. Health can change, but the life you love doesn't have to. Keep your lifestyle healthy with... Aflac! Why do we have Aflac? Aflac! And Major Medical? Major Medical boy, yeah! <laughs> I help pay the doctor. Ain't that enough for you? There are things Major Medical doesn't do. Aflac pays cash so we don't have to fret. Something families should get. Like a safety net. It even helps pay deductibles to cover your back with. Learn about one day pay at aflac.com slash rap. <laughs> When I decided to write a ton of world famous music after I'd lost my hearing, people thought I was crazy. Just like the other day when I wanted chicken for breakfast, people thought I was crazy again. How'd everything play out? Let me tell you about it. I'll bet you ten bucks that you have heard the tune I'm singing now. Because I went on to be the best composer of all time. Then I went down to Chick-fil-A and ordered their brand new egg white grill. The whole thing was 300 calories and seriously the best thing I've ever had. So to recap, I'm the best composer ever in the entire world. And Chick-fil-A's new egg white grill is really, 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 really good. Chicken for breakfast. It's not as crazy as you'd think. Try the new Egg White Grill from Chick-fil-A. Welcome back to Sports Visions, Dale. And then there were two. We know now that the Atlanta Falcons and the New England Patriots will be playing in the Super Bowl. And I tell you, you know what? Uh, again, having the opportunity to be in the Dome 
and to experience not only the, the last game, but the Falcons NFC Championship victory. I mean, you know what? Who would have thought that they would have hung 44 points on Green Bay? I mean, that, that's, what, that's what's amazing, DJ. And really, you know, they, they're playing just that good, DJ. And, you know, whether they were going to play the Patriots or the Steelers, DJ, it didn't really matter. As, as long as we've always said from the beginning of the year, as long as they keep Matt Ryan clean, upright, offensive line have done a great job for them to display all the weapons that they have, they're going to be tough to beat again, player. Yes, they are. And, <clears throat> excuse me, in fact, the matter is that being the most explosive team in the National Football League, you know, you got so many weapons, and then you do have a guy that you might not have around here next year. And In fact, Kyle Shanahan, it's all but said and done that after the Super Bowl, he will take the job in San Francisco. But how much credit will you give to Shanahan for, of course, improving his offense? 90%, DJ, and probably even more than that. I mean, he changed up some things, but really to just display all the weapons that he had, I mean, number one offense in the NFL after last year, keeping Matt Ryan upright has been very important for the Falcons. But then when you start talking about Tevin Coleman, you start talking about Devontae Freeman, you start talking about the uh, Taylor uh, Gabriel piece, Julio, Suno, I mean, it go on and on. I mean, really, he gets the credit, DJ, because he's really, he has been more of an aggressive offensive coordinator than I have seen in a long time. You know, a lot has flown under the radar, but nothing more than that offensive line because you did mention keeping him clean. <laughs> Alex Mack, the free agent that uh, they acquired from the Cleveland Browns, the center, uh, Pro Bowl center, in fact, he was, uh, he was the glue that pretty much held the line together. You know, they drafted well uh, a few years ago when they went out and got Matthews again. Now he's one of the better right tackles in the National Football League. But, you know, all in all, the most important statistics that I think I've heard, Dale, is that out of all 32 teams, out of all 16 games, and including the playoffs, the Atlanta Falcons have the only five linemen that have played all those games. You know how important oh, that is oh. when you talk about, you know, being in sync, having chemistry, and knowing how close those linemen work together to uh, create, uh, you know, some – the, 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 the protection that they had need to have for their quarterback. I mean, that's been really big. You know, I remember when, from Pop mm. Warner on, the most important piece of your team, DJ, is your offensive line, your defensive line. And to keep a five-man a five man unit together for the whole year, no injuries, and really they're playing with chemistry and the Matt Ryan piece for us, him being comfortable with his line. They're running the ball. They're passing the ball. That makes you, you know, that much more dangerous. But I think uh, – uh, Kyle Tanner, Shanahan has basically has gotten a lot of credit. He deserves every bit of it, DJ, because really, Arthur Blank was not playing this offseason. And, you know, the other part of the statistics, and again, we, you know, it's easy for us to talk about how many yards Matt is thrown for, how many touchdowns. But the thing, in addition to the line being together for all of their games, when you talk about he had in the first half alone, against Green Bay. He threw to six different receivers, nine different receivers in the ball game. And of course, you know he had the NFL record throwing uh, 13 touchdowns to different receivers during the season. And, you know, that that kind of uh, versatility, it's hard to beat, man. You, and, I, and I know, and I, I'm going to give you opportunity to, to talk about it, but when you're talking about a, a guy like Belichick who they say, yeah, he has two weeks to get ready for the Atlanta Falcons because he usually has a first half game plan and the second half. You know what? I want to see what he can do because, again, you got too many explosive weapons, and I don't think it could be stopped. Well, you know, DJ, you know, everybody's been posing that question to me, Belichick, Belichick, Brady, Brady. But the thing of it is that I like DJ, you got so many weapons. You got weapons everywhere. He might be able to take some things away, DJ, but he can't take everything away. If he doubles Julio, and Julio's probably one of the only guys I know, he can beat double coverage. He can, he can take a five-yard slant to the house. I mean, he can throw the ball deep. I don't care if they double cover him deep. He can out-jump you. He is a weapon in himself. And then you start talking about Sanu. You got these big receivers, Julio, Sanu. They can, they can play tough. They play physical. And then you got these sprint guys, you know, Gabriel. You got 18. You got 16. You got 19. These boys can take the top off. And then you got the running backs. Not only are they dangerous running the ball, DJ, they can catch the ball out, you know, out in the field. So that, I think really, man, it's just too many weapons. You Not, can, go ahead. Yeah, the, the offense obviously is going to have center stage. But, again, I think that the defense, they're going to be the unsung hero because, again, they have a lot of young players that obviously don't have their names, but these guys have played together week in and week out, and they've gotten better and better each and every week. They play fast. Dan Quinn, obviously, uh, you know, he's catching it because basically they're saying it's a spinoff of what he had out of Seattle with, the, with that defense. 
Of course, you know, you talk about Neil, the safety, right. playing like Cam <laughs> Chancellor. And, uh, again, Deion Jones in the middle. I mean, I, I, you know, I don't know if there's a more athletic linebacker in the middle in the National Football League this side of Luke Keekley, But, uh, you know what, Deion Jones is faster than him. And really, and that's been the key. That's my key right there to Tom Brady, to stopping Tom Brady, is Deion Jones. I want them to get after Tom Brady just like they did with Aaron Rodgers because they put some licks on Aaron Rodgers. And I think really when you can blitz and get this guy throwing the ball, I think receiver-wise, yeah, New England's got some kind of kind of dangerous receivers. But if I'm a corner DJ, I'm not scared of their receivers because really they're all possession receivers. Tom Brady can get the ball to them. But if I'm sending Deion Jones, if I'm sending 22, if I'm sending 34, if I'm sending that extra man, they're going to have some problems getting rid of that ball. Absolutely. And again, uh, you know, again, nothing against uh, the New England Patriots. They deserve what, and again, give them the recognition. You well, yeah. know, when you talk about Belichick, seven Super Bowl <laughs> appearances, you know, and you talk about four victories. He's already broken the record as far as the coaches who have been in the Super Bowl the most time. He broke Don, uh, I believe it was uh, Shula's record. Right. But, uh, again, he has opportunity now to, to stand all alone with the most victories. Well, you know, DJ, you know, but even deeper than that, DJ, Belichick has been to nine Super Bowls, two with the Giants and seven with New England. Tom Brady has been to five Super Bowls, won MVP in both of them. But, DJ, it's going to be a little bit different this time. I think it's going to be tough this time. And I think really all the other uh, folklore and the timelines, you know, the Atlanta Falcons been in business for 51 years, DJ. It's Super Bowl 51. It's time, player. All right. We'll take a short break. This is Sports Fishes. Steve, check out this guy's leg. Yeah, looks like a real nasty moving back in with his parents. What? No, I just broke my leg. No, this is a full-blown move into the basement. You're going to be out of work. Without that money from Aflac, you might miss your rent. Oh, I just moved out. Bummer, man. Hey, I used to have my own place. Yeah? <laughs> no, I live with my mom. But it's cool. Health can change, but the life you love doesn't have to. Keep your lifestyle healthy with Aflac. I'm back, swimming at the gym every week. Last month, I started playing tennis again. And four months ago, I went hiking for the first time. I struggled with knee pain for years. Just walking upstairs was difficult. But the St. Francis Orthopedic Institute was there, from surgery through physical therapy, helping me get back to doing the things I love. Thanks, St. Francis. I'm back in motion again. Welcome back to today's final segment of Sports Vision Dale. I tell you, you know, it's just uh, for the next week, uh, and it's already for this past week, was officially Falcon Nation's week. And again, <laughs> just everybody's so happy of what the Atlanta Falcons were able to do by obviously going out uh, to the Super Bowl and playing against the Patriots. However, uh, nothing would be better than to bring that trophy on home. I mean, really, DJ, that, you, you got to bring that trophy home this close. I mean, I think really everything is falling in line for the Atlanta Falcons and all deserving Falcons fans out there for so many years. Uh, this is your time also, and, and everybody's letting it know that they are Falcons fans now. But at the same time, DJ, I think the city deserves it a whole lot more. And really, we always we talked about moving into that Mercedes-Benz Stadium next year. I think they might sell some tickets now, players. Absolutely. Of course, we know we got the Super Bowl. The Pro Bowl is, of course, this weekend. And again, you have the Senior Bowl and the Combines. But more importantly, as far as Sports Visions is concerned, we have our Female Athlete of the Year Award our second annual coming up here early this spring. We'll give you more details on it. But more importantly, Dale, we had an opportunity back in December to honor our local high school uh, athletes. And of course, a great 
producer and director put a really nice promo together. Let's take a look at it. Welcome to the stage. Stand to your feet, if you will, and give Kirby Smart a Columbus, Georgia Valley area welcome. Are you at your best every day? Are you, at your, are you giving your best every day to your work, to your family, to whoever it is? Because if you're not, you're selling yourself short. You know, and, and there's challenges. There's tough things out there ahead, and he inspires me by the way he – I want to give him my all as his coach. I want to make sure he has every opportunity to be successful in life and also on our football team because of the passion and energy in which he plays the game with. And it's those two young men, Reuben Foster, completely different background than a young man like Prather Hudson, who have touched me, continue to make me realize what my why is, and continue to develop as a coach. Because I really believe this saying, when you're ripe, you rot, and when you're green, you grow. Stay green. Stay green. Keep growing. It doesn't matter how old you are, how many years you've been coaching, or what profession you're in. You can get better at what you do. We all try to get better at what we do. We can all become better people, and we can all become much more successful. You know, and it is human nature. It is human nature to take the easy road. But I'll, I'll, I'll leave you with this one last uh, kind of statement and saying that, that uh, we got from a guy that um, his dad wrote the Chicken Soup for the Soul book, and uh, he's kind of a positive, all-the-time guy. And he said, I couldn't help it. I grew up in that house. Chicken Soup for the Soul is a, is a book that's written about being positive. And he comes and speaks to our team from time to time, and he was talking about children, young kids, I mean like little kids, that, babies, I should say, that aren't walking. He said that on average experts find that that as children are learning to walk, kids are learning to walk, they fall over 100 times, okay? So every time you fall and you're trying to learn to walk, you get up and you keep going. So it's pretty obvious that you're born innately with the will to keep going, to push forward. It's somewhere in our youth, somewhere in our adult, that we learn to quit because it's, we're not born with that. You're born with, I'm going to keep trying to walk. I'm going to keep going over 100 times. I'm going to fall. But you get up every time. But something in between that age and, and wherever it may be, the, the, the will to quit can creep in. I only ask you that throughout your life, you never find that will. You never find that will. You never acknowledge that will. You never accept that will. You keep pushing through. You grow to get better, and you become better for those around you. And a lot of those guys in the back of the room, you've got a chance to impact others over your, the life of your college career, whether you have one or whether you go straight into work. You've got a chance to affect people in a positive way. And I know this. I can't guarantee you that a positive attitude will grant success. But I can promise you that a negative attitude won't. So you make your decision from that. Thank you so much. Go dogs.
Matthew 6 and 33, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. It's time to save during the Nissan Year of the Truck and SUV event at Headquarter Nissan. Now, save $4,500 on new Rogue. Save $10,000 on all remaining 2016 Nissan Titan XDs. And get America's best truck warranty. Take on any job with Nissan trucks and SUVs from Headquarter Nissan. Yes, Columbus is a Nissan town. Now it's going to be a Titan town. $10,000 off 2016 Titan. El chofer designado sigue reinando. Why do we have Aflac? Aflac. And Major Medical. Major Medical Boy, yeah! <laughs> I helped pay the doctor. Ain't that enough for you? There are things Major Medical doesn't do. Aflac pays cash so we don't have to fret. Something family should get. Like a safety net. Even helps pay deductibles to cover your back. We <laughs> Learn about one day pay at aflac.com slash rap. When I decided to write a ton of world famous music after I lost my hearing, people thought I was crazy. Just like the other day when I wanted chicken for breakfast, people thought I was crazy again. How'd everything play out? Let me tell you about it. I'll bet you ten bucks that you have heard the tune I'm singing now. Because I went on to be the best composer of all time. Then I went down to Chick-fil-A and ordered their brand new egg white grill. The whole thing was 300 calories and seriously the best thing I've ever had. So to recap, I'm the best composer ever in the entire world. And Chick-fil-A's new egg white grill is really, 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 really good. Chicken for breakfast. It's not as crazy as you'd think. Try the new egg white grill from Chick-fil-A.